Greetings, Shalom from Jerusalem, and welcome to day five of Lunchtime Prayer for Israel, this Christmas series. This is a very important day because the oneness of God and yet three, the triune God, the Trinity, is very hard for some Jews to accept. So the title of today, of course, is God is One. Deuteronomy 6, verses 4 and 5. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Isaiah 42, 8. I am the Lord and that is my name. And my glory I will not give to another nor my praise to any graven image. To worship another God would be in the intolerable sin of idolatry. But Jesus not only accepted worship, he commanded it. Let's look at Luke 1940. And so did the Father require us to worship Jesus. That's Psalm 2, verse 12. That God can be both one and three at the same time is hard for most Jewish people to accept. But the word God uses in the Shema, Deuteronomy 6, 4, and 5, the, the word that God uses for one makes it clear. The word God gave to Moses is echad, which is a compound unity. Night and day, echad, one day, Genesis 1, 5. Man, woman, echad, flesh, one flesh, Genesis 2, 24. Grapes, many grapes, one cluster, Numbers 13, verse 23. There is another Hebrew word that means one, and that's yachid, which means singular. Genesis 22, 2, when God spoke to, Mo, to Abraham, he said, take your son, your one and only son. Well, Abraham had several sons. But God was saying, your specific son, Isaac, that God des describes himself as a chad and not yachid is the first proof that God is triune in nature and in essence. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So we want to pray for God's love for Israel, that it will cast away all fear preventing faith in Jesus, the Messiah. Father, your word says love, perfect love, casts out fear. And we know that no one can love perfectly except you. We thank you for your love that gave your son, that gave your only begotten son, that gave Jesus as our Savior, our Redeemer, our Deliverer. And we pray that that love will break through all of Israel's fear to recognize and receive Yeshua as their Messiah. Use your love, use your word by your Holy Spirit to break through that the Jewish people will look upon you. They will grieve and they will mourn, recognizing their fear that has kept them in sin, sin of rebellion. And we thank you, Lord, for you will do this because we pray in Yeshua's name and because you have promised. Amen. And so with that, I say lihitraot, shalom from Jerusalem.